morning guys happy wednesday i'm probably gonna hang out with you for the next couple days for like a days in my life type vlog so i thought while i was getting ready this morning we could just chit chat really quickly about the new job and whatever else so i just put on my moisturizer i've been using this l'oreal collagen moisture filler i really like it it's nice and hydrating and it's fragrance free which is also really nice this week was my second week of subbing i taught at a new school yesterday so i teach at one of the districts nearby so you can honestly teach at whatever school they have in their district ranging from elementary school to middle school to high school preschool all the schools so far i've only taught at two of the schools but it's been good i've taught fourth grade kindergarten and third grade so far so it's been fun trying out the different grades and a couple of people have asked kind of how it works as far as subbing and taking jobs so there is an app that i use that has all of the jobs listed out and it could be tomorrow or it could be for the next few weeks and you just pick which job you want it says what school what grade what teacher the times and then you just hit accept and it's literally as simple as that and then also people from the different schools can text you or call you for last minute jobs so yeah i like it because i can kind of really schedule ahead of time because I basically know which days I'm able to work. My mom is with the kids on Tuesdays and then Matt's rotating day, I know like what day it is each week. So I'm able to say I can work on that day. And then when I get to the school, I have like an hour to get settled in by clocking in, finding my classroom, looking at the lesson plans, the teachers, if they know that they're going to be out will have very detailed sub plans like by the time and everything that you need to do and it's very very helpful so far all the sub plans i've had have been awesome that's how i know what i'm supposed to be doing each day is they leave these detailed sub plans which is always great so there's no lesson planning involved there's really no prep work which I really really enjoy because I love teaching but sometimes the prep work at least where I've taught in the past is so much work and I'm like I'd rather just be in the classroom with the kids rather than doing all of that so it's nice that I kind of get to skip that part so that's how subbing is going so far so so good uh, I have one pool update and that is that the HOA has approved our pool plan so once we get our approval from the city, we can start digging. I know this part's kind of just like a lot of paperwork and a little bit of waiting, but it's been pretty easy and pretty seamless. The waiting hasn't been too bad, crossing fingers on the city, but I know that we are definitely gonna hit like periods of time where there's no supplies for certain things and no one to do the building process so i'm preparing for that i don't really have like a deadline or an end date in mind because i just know that that's silly but at least we've started and at least our backyard and our dream for it is finally underway on today's agenda we're going to take jackson to school we are going to pop over to target i need to get a baby shower card and probably some like wrapping paper i have a baby shower this weekend and then I might pop over to H&M. Actually, they kind of open late. I really need just some baggy sweatshirts. I'm so cold in this house, and I love big baggy sweatshirts, and I don't like have any. The ones that I've had all have gotten like either bleached or stained. So I need some new baggy sweatshirts. So we might go hunt for those today. We'll just kind of see where the date takes us outfit of the day is super casual and super comfy i've got my abercrombie pullover on i love this so much and then the abercrombie wide leg sweatpants 
and my Vans. We got our matching shoes on today. Definitely forgot Jackson's backpack today, but it is what it is. from running my errands, picking up Jackson. I came home and I met my mom and my uncle, her brother, here at the house to go over pool stuff because my uncle does pool plastering and all sorts of things with pools and he's very good at what he does. So he's gonna be doing our pool. We were just kind of like going over logistics and stuff. So our pool meeting is done and I'll show you what I got at H&M. They didn't have a ton of sweatshirts. They had a lot of hoodies but I don't really like like the bulkiness and the heaviness of hoodies, so I like crew neck sweatshirts, but I was able to find one that I liked. I got this one, never been here, but I like the neutral colors of this and it's super soft inside and it was $19.99 and it's perfectly oversized and it's not a sweatshirt that you have to like get XXL in for that roomier fit. This is already like oversized. And I got it in a size medium. I also picked up this super cute clip. It's very neutral and it's like kind of matte. And I love claw clips, but I feel like the glossy ones kind of just slip out of my hair. So maybe this one will be, it'll hold my hair up better. Like that even feels more secure. And I did go to Target really quickly to get a baby shower card. I found wrapping paper in our garage. I keep like tissue paper, wrapping paper, gift bags. That way I can use them and re-gift with them. So I found some really cute baby shower wrapping paper I already had, some little boxes, and oh my gosh, Jackson just scared me so bad. He's wow. supposed to be napping. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby, you scared me. Eh. You scared me. I saw this little creature back there. Eh. You, you're the creature. I got to You gotta go back to bed. I'll be back. Okay. Here's the sweatshirt. I love it. It is the perfect oversized fit. I feel like it's hard to find oversized sweatshirts sometimes. They're almost too boxy or they hit at a weird length. Like I want them along. I want them to cover my bum and I want it to just feel super roomy. I put on some leggings so you guys could see. But I'm gonna check H&M and see if they have more sweatshirts just like this with like maybe different designs or solid but i do really like this one it's super cute also the lettering on it is like raised it's textured it's super cute just fyi i did find some more colors in the oversized sweatshirt so i like this pink one it's just solid and there's also this blue one too so it is a tad bit later now i've just been getting a little bit of work done and Matt should be home any second, and then we're gonna take the kiddos to a makeup swim class. We have a few makeups that we need to get in. This one's a lot later than we normally do. It'll be fun to go all together as a fam. Then we're gonna come home and make an easy dinner. I'm just popping some like frozen burritos in the air fryer, and we'll probably watch Boba Fett. <laughs>
morning guys it is the next day i uh, just got ready to head into work for the day matt's gonna be home with the kids and it's mama's work day so i thought i would share my outfit of the day before i head out i have this long chunky cardigan on from forever 21 i've had it for quite some time and then i have a long sleeve button down dress this one's from h&m and then this is pretty recent i bought it for the job and then i have this little braided black belt i can't remember where this is from this is years and years old and then i just have my camel tennies on from lucky so that's the teaching outfit i'm gonna head out for work for the day and i'll check back in with you guys later back from work had a good day a little tired not gonna lie but still a good day and i'm about to take a quick bath and then just like get my comfies for the rest of the day but i'll show you what i got my friend off of her registry for her baby shower and then we'll wrap those gifts and then um we'll get to making dinner so i got my friend jesse these burpee bibs from aiden and an they're the classic muslin ones these are so cute i love the little neutral colored rainbow and then they also have like little suns on them too I love those. And then she also wanted the Frida Baby three-step cradle cap system with a sponge, brush, comb, and a storage stand. I wish we would have had this for you. Isn't that cute? And then we, she wanted this little elephant hooded towel for her baby girl. And then this is the card that I got for her at Target yesterday. Super cute. And then this is the wrapping paper that I already had. So I'm gonna use this. It's really cute. This one's from Target. started on dinner super easy dinner I try and plan easier dinners for the days that I work so we're just gonna have some tortellini broccoli tomato and a jar of pasta sauce good morning guys happy Friday I had planned to do like a cleaning day today and I, I did actually clean the downstairs this morning. I set the kids up with some fun activities and I was able to clean the downstairs, but I actually have to go in and sub half day last minute. There's like an ex just, just an extreme sub and teacher shortage. My mom was able to watch the kids for at least half the day. So I'm gonna go in in like two hours to teach kindergarten. I believe I'm teaching kindergarten today, um, but I have parent-teacher conferences in just a few minutes over FaceTime with Jackson's teachers, and I also have a grocery pickup appointment, so that's why I can't get there until a little bit later. Just finished conferences with Jackson's teachers. I love them, they're so sweet. But we're gonna head out to go get groceries. I thought I'd show you my teaching outfit of the day. It's Friday, so I can wear jeans. I still gotta put shoes on, but I have my Abercrombie jeans and then this fuzzy cardigan from Banana Republic that I wear all the time. And I'm probably gonna wear the camel sneakers I wear pretty much every day for subbing. Quick, quick grocery haul. We didn't need a ton, but we got some Honey Nut Cheerios, some kettle chips, crescent rolls, because Matt's literally been obsessed with that taco ring that I made a couple of vlogs ago. Like, he can't stop talking about it. So I'm gonna make that again for him. We got cinnamon rolls, because we're gonna do like a family little brunch on Sunday here at the house. I mean, just us four, but it should be fun. Got some ground beef for the taco ring, bananas, yogurt for the kids, baking soda, graham cracker crumbs. I'm gonna make those s'mores cookies again from a couple of vlogs ago. Those, those were so good, we're obsessed. Got Matt two things of turkey breast, onion, avocados, broccoli, creamer, my favorite creamer, ketchup, juice, white chocolate chips for those cookies, bacon for brunch, and then a bunch of the Hershey's bars for the cookies, and then a pizza as well. I'll see you guys when I get back from work. I'm back home from work, and I had a great day. I taught kindergarten, and they're just so cute. And also just 
independent at the same time. It's a really fun grade to teach. Picked up the kids on the way home. Now we're just hanging out. Matt's out with his guy friends from work and I'm just gonna have like a quiet night to myself after the kids go to bed. So I thought it would be the perfect time to do my bullet journal layouts for February because it's just it's very calm and fun for me to do. So I'll take you through that and then I'll probably just close out this vlog because it's probably getting kind of long. So I'll say goodbye here, but we will be bullet journaling right now. If you guys missed my last bullet journal session and don't know what a bullet journal is, it's basically a calendar to-do list planner diary all in one it really can be whatever you want it to be it's just a more creative way to get your thoughts on paper or your plans on paper so what I like to use it for is monthly spreads I don't use it as a day-to-day -day planner some people do it's a lot of work I just like to use it kind of as a monthly planner so I am working on my February layout and I really wanted to just kind of make it Valentine's Day theme so I have my month title page and right now I am working on my reflection and intention page so I really like this it's a great way to reflect on the past month and set your intentions for the new month so I'm gonna keep this page for each of my monthly spreads and I just added some little doodles some heart pencils and I really wanted to keep the pages simple and super cute to the next page this is my goals page so I like to set monthly goals and I'm very proud that I hit all but one of my January goals and that was writing 15,000 words I did not get there but you know at least it kind of puts things into perspective and allows me to create some more realistic goals in terms of writing but I love this goals page. I wanted to make it kind of like a little candy heart bag was spilling out onto the page. Now moving on to probably my favorite layout, my favorite page, and that is the habit tracker page. It has been so helpful for me to stay on top of certain habits when I get to check it off each day. So there's different ways that you can do a habit tracker page, different ways that it can look. I particularly like this one where you make little boxes and fill them in each day for each habit that you're trying to accomplish. So I'm sticking with the same habits as last month and I'm feeling super motivated about it. So I really hope you enjoyed today's days in the life vlog it was very nice spending some time with you and i will see you very very soon in the next video